Welcome. We are introducing our child support app, which is child support that masterclass. This is a revolutionized app, which makes it easier than ever to stay up to date with laws, statutes, and rules regarding your child support case. The app is designed to help parents as well as guardians manage your support cases in an effort to defeat the child support agency. Yes, the child support is a contract. You can always reach us at our website, but now we're introducing the child support app. And I will read um, the highlights of the child support. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Chris. And in this session, we are introducing our child support app that you can defeat the child support agency. With the, the convenience of the mobile app, you can easily get access to and track the, the development of the status, constitution, as well as codes related to child support. The app provides comprehensive legal information and helpful resources. The app is designed for convenience in mind as well as time consuming. The app is free to download. We offer free and paid courses. It comes with a comprehensive set of features in which to stay informed. The user interface makes it easier to help browse and status and codes and the ability to help download cases. In other words, download cases. Take the stress out of staying on top of the case laws. Download it today. Yes, we are accepting donations for PayPal and Cash App. You can reach us at our podcast. That's Child Support, that's Spotify, Apple, and Google. Now we are introducing our child support app at childsupport.newzendler.com. In addition to read the case laws, we have audio, which is artificial intelligence. Yes, we have artificial intelligence that will read your case law. More on that later. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. And ignorance from the law does not presume that you should not know the law. And, that, and, and again, this has to do with judges and attorneys. They should know the law and they should you know, uphold the law. Affidavit. In addition to writing petitions, motions, practice, you need to write effective affidavits. We have a video called How to Write an Effective Affidavit. Please review that. access to the courts. There, there, there are a um, few cases 
in that the, the magistrate or the clerk says, well, we are not taking the paperwork. Well, it is a protected right. In other words, you have the right to access the court. And although that the court papers have been file marked, again, that's no excuse. Access to the court. And it's called Biffle versus Morton, Morton Rubber. You have now you know, write effective affidavit and you now taking him to court. 18 U.S.C. 2076. The clerk or the magistrate, they said that they will refuse your paperwork. That is not true. They are willfully refusing your paperwork. Your statements or your document is required by law. And under this code, they, they'll be imprisoned by up to one year. There is a case law that says that the governing of our constitutional democracy is that no officer from the highest to the lowest can, can abide by or they have to obey the law. That is... No man in this country is either above the law and that the officers of the court must be defiant with impunity. In other words, that what we're saying is the butts stops here, Mr. Lee. It's butts versus economy as well as United States versus Lee. This is the butts stop here. Let's dive into the app. The, the, the app has basics, interim, and well as uh, knowledge networking. The basics are color of law, the codes, as well as five Supreme Court cases that you should already know. If you are going to court, you should know the five Supreme Court cases, such as Blessing, Corelli, Holmberg versus Holmberg. In fact, you should know this. Now let's look at the interim cases, such as, you know, mother didn't put me on child support or access to the court, as well as, you know, father filed a lawsuit. So e these are the interim courses that, while you have the basic courses, you still need to know the interim courses, uh, such that this is an ongoing, you know, you have an ongoing case in, 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 the, in, the, in the states. So these are some of the, the, the working knowledge. Let's look at one of our courses. For example, the color of law. We have video as well as the definitions for the color of law and includes the color of law form. And also we, we include the, the case laws, which is Felder versus Casey. And of course, we have download. We, we can have download for any type of form. Let's look at one of our chapters, Felder versus Casey. For, for whatever reason, many people cannot read case law, or perhaps it's the, the Latin phrase, the actual citations. Well, for, for this episode, we read you the case law. Yes, we read you the case law. At the right side, at the top left, we read the case laws. And then we match the case law in, it, uh, in terms of the tone and the inclination of the case laws.
we want to assure you that we have the user experience in mind. So we handle voices in terms of chat GTP and other voices because we want to entertain you as well as inform you of the case law. Therefore, you will recite the case law in front of court. Here is one of our example of reading, reading to you the courts. The case law is called, you have every right to access the court. This the audiobook of Court of Appeals of Georgia, Carlson v. Carlson, decided September 23, 2013. Denise Carlson appeals the trial court's order finding her in criminal contempt of a modification order concerning child custody and visitation, which arose out of her 2008 divorce from Robert Louis Carlson. The appropriate standard of appellate review for a criminal contempt conviction is whether, after viewing the evidence in the light most favorable to the prosecution, any rational trier of fact could have found the essential elements of the crime beyond a reasonable doubt. So please check out childsupport.newzendler.com and can be downloaded from Google as well as the Play Store. Thank you. Have a good day.